Hey guys, my name is Mel and I'm a full-time eBay seller here in Australia. Now today is Thursday and I've got a lot of tasks that need doing inside my storage shed today. The shed has become a mess over the last couple of weeks. I have half finished jobs here, there and everywhere. And now it's got to the point where I've got no room to move. I've got no room to bring any more hauls in here. My packing room is full of stuff that shouldn't be in here. And I still really need to think about sorting a new inventory system for my aisles of listed books. So today what I'm doing is I'm just going to spend the entire day in here sorting, cleaning, putting things away where they're supposed to be and just catching up on all the stuff that should have been done over the last couple of weeks. One of the biggest problems I have as a reseller is that I get distracted really easily and I also am really time poor. So what I often do is I start a job and then I get halfway through it and I don't finish it. So for example, they're all the military books that I price comped the other day for the video that I showed you, but yet they're still sitting here on a table that gets pushed into my unit when I go home at night because I haven't got around to photographing them yet. So behind me, you can see my packing room and what a nightmare it is. I can't even walk in here at the moment. You can see when I go home at night that basically, you know, I just have to put this roller door down and I go home. But if I don't get these jobs finished, then it just becomes one big mess and it becomes out of control and then I don't work productively. So it's really important for me to have a clean working space so that I can work faster and be more productive and then keep bringing new hauls in and I've got room for them and I can deal with them straight away. I mean, you can see here, I've got a whole table full of books and all those books have been listed. They just need to go away on their shelves. Again, over here, these books here, they've all been listed and I need to put them away. I mean, I've got padded mailers there that I can't even get to my shelf at the back to put away. So they're just being thrown in there. It's crazy. Now over here, this is my death pile room. Where are we? Oh, trying to turn you around. <laughs> I, have to, I have to actually turn the camera around. <laughs> Now look at my death pile room. I mean, I can't even walk in there. So if I bring in another hall, I wouldn't even have room to put it. None of these shelves are being utilized properly. They've just got stuff that's been stuck on them. I can't, all these books need price comping. I've got cardboard just thrown in there that needs to go to the recycle. It's crazy. This aisle is just a nightmare. I've started clearing shelves because I've started doing a new inventory system along here. But in the meantime, I've just got books everywhere and nothing's working for me. So <laughs> as you can see, I just need a day in here. I really need a day of just clean up, organization, put stuff away where it's supposed to go and get this sorted.
Okay, so here's where I'm at with the packing bench and it already looks 10 times better and I feel like a weight has been lifted off me, even if half the stuff is still sitting here in the corridor. Now what I did was I emptied those padded mailers and I stacked up my packing bench. So over there I normally keep excess stock of padded mailers, but I don't have any left. So that tells me when I go to the post office next, I need to place an order of several hundred padded mailers. So I've got some spare ones here in stock and I make sure I don't run out. Now, I used to have all my tubs of clothing stored on these shelves, but because I've made the decision not to sell clothing anymore, I've taken all the clothing out of my stores and unlisted them. And what I've been doing every time I go back home, I've been taking a few tubs back with me to store at home. And then once I've got all the stock over at the house, what I'll need to do is go through it and sort it and sell it off as a large bundle. I've been very lucky that I've got a couple of resellers who have already reached out to me to buy my stock in a large bulk load, so they will get the first dibs when it's time for me to sell it. Now, these shelves have got no order to them. I've just been stacking books here and I started to do these ones neatly. These ones are a nightmare, but I'm thinking I might use these shelves to start a brand new SKU system. So these are going to be a work in progress. I have stacked up some excess tubs here because I can't fit them all in my car at one time. I've only got a small car, so I keep taking over half a dozen boxes at a time. But at least if they're packed here now, I know that every single time I leave this storage unit to fill my car up with a few more tubs until these are finally gone. Now these books are all bundles and they've all been listed, but I need to get them away. But because they're all bundles and you can see there's a lot of them <laughs> and this is the bundle room that I'm trying to organize, I don't really want to stick these onto a shelf just yet because I'm just going to have to remove them all as I'm redoing it. So what I'm actually gonna do after lunch when I come back here is try and work on this area. So what I will do is I'm actually gonna pull out all the bundles from these aisles <laughs> and I'm gonna start again. I am gonna absolutely start from scratch. I'm gonna pull all of these out here onto the few tables that I've got and just focus solely on getting the bundles done. Now, in these green bags was a haul that I picked up the other day from Facebook. Um, I haven't been through that haul yet, but that's another thing on my to-do list. And these books down here, they need to be photographed and listed. So I've made a pretty good start. I'm pretty happy with that. So now it's time to tackle probably this death room a little bit so that I can make room because a lot of this is death pile here and really needs to be sorted in this area as well. So this is my next job to get this done. Okay, so all the books that I've moved from those shelves, they were actually listed books. So they were the listed books that I was making way for down in the back aisle and I was going to move them into here. And it just, it just didn't work for me. This has to remain just as a death pile room. And these shelves need to be here for me to put books on that I'm 
building sets or building groups of authors or books that are unlisted. So I think by mixing up having unlisted books in here and listed books, it's just a nightmare waiting to happen. So all the listed books are now out of here. Now these books are all listed, but they've all just been thrown here because I've been moving them around. So they're actually in no order. And if I was to sell one of these books, this is going to take me longer to find. So this is a bit stressful for me and this will certainly need actioning. As soon as I've done the bundle aisle, this will be my next job.
Oh, guys, look how much space I just made. It's amazing. It's amazing. Once I can get that um, hall there cleared, and once I've gone through all those boxes, which I really should make a priority, because that would also free me up room to put some more shelves, which would really help me out. So that needs to be, I just need to get my priorities a little bit straight. <laughs> all those books are unlisted on the shelves. And I'm telling you, there is a lot of money on those shelves. They are good books on those shelves. I have got a lot of sets over here. I mean, there's a set behind here, this Canterwood Crest. Like, I've sold that before for like over a hundred bucks. So, I've just got it sitting there. Do you know what I mean? I've just got, there's lots of books here that are in pairs or sets. Um, these are all just kind of generic non-fiction books. And then th there's a couple of shelves here with some random books that uh, I ne I'll need to sort through a little bit later. But I really just need to get cracking and get some of this listed and price comped. If you're wondering what these tubs are, this is where I this is where I price comp. So normally I will set the table up here. So then what I do, I've kind of got the prices up there on the on the wall. But I basically start price comping those books and you know, if I get a book 15, 16, 18, 20, 22 and I start piling them all up in those book in those boxes. So then when I get a big stack of like say this tub here gets full of $18 books, then I can just do all the $18 books at once when I'm photographing and give them to my virtual assistant. So it just helps me, I can just photograph faster once the books are already priced. So that's just part of a system I've got. So I know it doesn't really look like a productive use of space, but at the moment my tubs are empty. The only one that's sitting here full is a $12 box and I don't want to list $12 books. So those books I'm going to just sit on for a while and I'll decide if I can bundle any of them together or if they are not worth my while and I might try and sell them off on a Facebook lot. But otherwise I'm up to date with kind of all my photographing and what it means is all these books on these shelves, these are all the ones that I actually need to spend some time price comping. So I probably need to come up here for a couple of hours and fill some of my tubs up. So then I'm ready to do some more photos. Okay, I'm back from lunch and back into the shed. So now what I'm going to do is get stuck into this bundle aisle. It is driving me absolutely crazy. So I think the only way to go about it is to actually pull all these bundles out, put them on the floor here in the corridor and just literally start those shelves again because they are just a nightmare. <laughs> So here's all the bundles. I have moved them from the floor so I can at least walk in here. It's really hard to know the best way to inventory this, but I do know that I don't have as many bundles as I do individual listings. So I am going to keep going with the surname with each shelf having a different letter. So under the name M, I'll have anybody with the surname M. But what I do know is that a lot of those um, individual alphabetical names need a second shelf. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move these books from around this side. So I'm going to end up with not only these two rows, but I'm going to end up with this row here. So that's going to be my main main thing. So I need to be able to renumber these shelves now so that I can put everything away on the right shelf.
these shelves are empty. The ones down the end have already got bundles on them that I'd started. So now it's just a matter of me re-labeling some of these shelves so that I've got enough for double of the shelves that are a bit busier and then getting all these books onto the shelves. <laughs> okay I'm going pretty good so all these shelves now are organized by author and so far it looks like it's fitting all right but I do have all these that still need to go away on the shelf so I'm going to do that now and then I'm going to be done with the bundles Woo <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> this you don't understand how happy i am this has been a pain in my butt ever since i've moved into these storage units <laughs> it's just been one of those jobs that i've been meaning to get to and meaning to and meaning to and now it's done my tables are empty okay so this is good this this row the first row here not so good <laughs> i mean i know what everything is in there but i think it does need some attention <laughs> on another day that i can fill up just doing stuff the biggest thing that i have to do now is all of those <laughs> so i see how i got my room all clean and now it doesn't even look it <laughs> it's a mess again no, but seriously, all these books I think will fit onto these shelves if they're stacked correctly and I make use of like the top shelf and everything. So I'm actually buggered and I'm sweating and that's a big job. That's going to take me a couple hours. So I think what I'm going to do is leave that till probably tomorrow, probably tomorrow. I'm going out to dinner tonight, so <laughs> I'd like to get home and have a shower and freshen up. But I'm pretty happy with the day. What a productive day. I did all that aisle. I did sort out this room. And even though it looks like a mess, I'm just going to turn it around. Even though it looks like a mess, I know what's going on in it now. You know, the tubs at the back, my car is empty with tubs. So I'll take another tub, couple of tubs now. The boot's still full, but I got rid of the other ones. So I probably fit another four tubs in my car now. This is going to be a work in progress. So definitely that still needs a couple of hours. I'm pretty happy. My death pile room, I can move in here now. I've got to take some cardboard to the recycle, which is just on the way. And everything else is done. Woohoo! So thanks for hanging out with me today. <laughs> well, I did all those jobs that I've been putting off. And honestly, I feel so much better. Like I honestly can't stop smiling just knowing that these jobs are done because they have been a weight on my mind. I keep thinking about them every time I come in here thinking I need some chunk time to get all this stuff done and it never seems to happen. So all I can say is if you are a reseller with a lot of half-assed jobs that have been done, just make a point to set a day aside for them and just get them done or get the majority of them done. Get half of them done. <laughs> just get started on all the half-assed jobs that need finishing because you'll feel so much better. You'll be able to work so much more productively. I'll be able to pick my orders so much faster in there now that I know where all those books are and I've made room for them. So if you missed the video that showed my journey to becoming a bookseller and how I started with all these books in my house to where I am now, I'm going to link that video right here for you or here or here or wherever it is. <laughs> Make sure you go through and have a look because it's pretty eye-opening how I had all these books in my house to the stage I'm at now and I'm feeling pretty proud. 
Thanks for watching.